Hello and welcome to video number nine. In this specific video, I'm going to talk about starting a campaign with MailJet by using HTML source code. In order for this to work, you're going to need to follow the following steps. You're going to need to have Composer, which is a HTML editing tool to create an HTML email. And it's actually very, very easy to use. If you've used Microsoft Word and you're familiar with that, it's just as easy. It just requires you to do a few more steps. We're going to use formatit.com. You can use any other type of email formatting tool, but formatit.com is free and it formats your text. We're going to add it to Composer. We're going to add the source code to mailjet.com and we're going to add the unsubscribe code and email it out in the next video after this. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to google.com and type in Composer. That's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R. And it's at composer.net. I like Composer because it's compatible with Windows, Macs, and Linux. So go ahead and download by clicking here and go ahead and download the file that relates to your operating system now i'm using windows so and i already have composer on my computer so what i want to do is simply open that up here okay so this is composer here and what I recommend that you go ahead and do is just go ahead and install it. Pause this video, install the program, and open up the program as you can see here. Now, we're not going to use Composer just yet because we want to format our email. So what you need to do is simply go to a site called formatit.com. And if this tool is not up, simply go to Google and type in email formatting tool free. You'll find a lot of free tools that will enable you to basically format your text. All you have to do is simply copy the text here. And you want to make sure that the text is not word wrapped. So don't worry that it goes all the way over here because we're actually going to format the text. So you want to choose a column width. We're going to say something like 40 and we're going to click on submit. And as you can see, it nicely formats the text. So it's easily readable. So what you need to do now is simply copy this text that's formatted go to the composer editor and simply paste into the editor. Now, as you can see with composer, you can change the font. Let's say to Arial, you can highlight. Now in terms of HTML emails, you don't want to get too fancy. Because when somebody's reading your email, you want to highlight stuff that's important and possibly bold certain text that might be important, but you don't want to do it too much. You don't want to put too much emphasis on everything. You only want to highlight certain things that are important. So for example, we could highlight this, we could uh, italicize it. We could underline certain text, as you can see here. We can make bullet points, either numbered lists or unordered bullet lists, as you can see here. And whenever you're ready, you can also include images uh, before I end this uh, specific section here you can click on image you can choose images add tables add forms add links in fact I can highlight this and click on link 
And let's say we'll make it go to google.com. Now with MailJet emails, in order for this to be compatible, we have to go to create a new campaign. Now leave this open because what we need to do next is create a campaign. So we're going to go to mailjet.com, click campaigns, create a campaign. We're going to enter the title and the subject line. Remember that the title is just for you. You want to choose the sender name, the language, and then of course the email address. And at the very bottom here, you're going to say import your HTML code. So we're going to select this, click on save and continue. And this is basically where you're going to enter the HTML code here. You can also enter plain text as well. Now, in order for this to be compatible with MailJet, you need to include the unsubscribe link in your code. So highlight this, copy, go to Composer, and at the very end of the email, copy and paste that. Once you're done with this, click Source, click Edit, Select All, and copy all your text or source code. Then go back to MailJet and basically highlight everything and replace it with the code. And if you click on preview, as you can see here, it gives you the ability to see your actual email. And if we click on this link, that'll go to google.com. So if it looks good, we can click save and continue. And that concludes the end of this video. I'm gonna show you how to send it, schedule it, and look at the statistics in the next video.